Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Authentic Faith, for Thursday, May 27th. A reminder to uh, create a devotion for us. Record yourself uh, reading your favorite Bible verse or passage. Share what it means to you and why it's your favorite or why it's important to you and offer up a prayer. Send that to me and that'll be our devotion time for this summer. Well, our theme for today is uh, a person who we've talked about uh, before in these uh, devotions, and it's Ruth uh, and uh, her faithfulness. Now, uh, Naomi and her husband uh, had uh, two sons, and uh, they uh, lived in Bethlehem. And this was the, during the time of Judges, and uh, it, there was a severe drought in Bethlehem. So uh, Naomi and her husband took their two boys and uh, went to uh, Moab, where there was water, so that they uh, could live, where there was food, because uh, there was water there. Well, that while they were there, their Naomi's uh, two sons married Moabite women. Their names were, were Orpa and Ruth. Now, unfortunately, uh, Naomi's uh, husband and both of her sons died, uh, leaving these three women alone uh, as uh, widows. And they had no status. They, had, they, were act, or they were treated like children during that time. They couldn't own land, so they had nothing. Ruth told the women, go back to your land, go back to your people and find a, a new uh, husband to care for you. And uh, Ruth found out that there was uh, no longer a drought in Bethlehem, so she was going to go back to her people. Orpah laughed and Ruth uh, said no. And uh, this is where our reading comes in for today. So the book of Ruth, uh, the first chapter. But Ruth replied to Naomi, Do not urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. When Naomi realized that Ruth was determined to go with her, she stopped urging her. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Naomi and Ruth both shared deep sorrow, great affection for one another, and in overriding commitment to the God of Israel. They cared so much for one another, and their common faith in God drew them closer together, and drew them closer to God as well. Their faith in God brought them together and deepened their bond with one another. Who are you able to talk to God, talk with about God? There are so many times where we can't or don't feel comfortable talking about God, but who in your life are you able to be open with and share about God or share your experiences about life and God's presence in your life? We need those people to be able to have those open and deep relationships and open and deep conversations. May God bless you with someone who you are able to talk about, talk to, and talk with about God. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the gift of relationships. We give you thanks for those who we are able to open up to, to be able to have conversations about you, even worship together and pray together. Lord, uh, thank you for your love. Thank you for the gift of relationships, especially our relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you with faith. May God fill you with hope. And may God surround you with love. Amen. Have a blessed day.